Hello everybody, welcome to a new video, uh, thanks for uh, checking this one out. Um, there is a cool new feature with the Cadence Row layout, um, it's already released for a couple of weeks, it was released in one of the 3 point, uh, after the 3.0 uh, update. Um, let me show you what, it's, um, what you can do now with the new row layout option. We have a row layout here, we do view. And you see this row layout where we have like a uh, text heading and some text on the left and then we have on the right side a slider and you see it is spanning across like cr uh, kissing the edge of the screen let's say and if I do on inspect and I change my screen size you see that it keeps hugging the edge of the screen but this one does not so it's making it look really cool it's uh, something you see a lot so if I go to a a bigger screen here in my inspector you see it's it keeps getting bigger on the right side but the left side sticks to the normal um, content max width that I've set up and I think the max width is probably something like 1200 pixels that it doesn't span across but on the right side we see it does span across so this is something that we can do now with a standard row layout all right so let's get into it here we go edit page and we're just going to add a new row layout on uh, underneath. So this is the one that I showed you not now. I'm gonna duplicate this block and we're going to see how it's uh, set up. So we have to do two things before we can uh, get to the option to make it uh, hugging the edge of the screen. Let me first switch the sides. So we're gonna select this section and we're gonna click on the left arrow. So now it's on the left side and this is on the right side. Here we are going to go back to the row layout uh, now. And then the first thing you need to do if you uh, insert a new row layout is to select, let me close this, is to select the full width option. This is the first thing you need to do because otherwise it will not work. If this is uh, enabled and I click on update, align center I now picked, and then I view my page. Let me open it up in a new Oh, I already opened it up. Let me open it up here. Yeah, so this is the one we already had and this is the one with align center. You see this is not looking at all like this one. If I pick white and click on update, again you will see it's going to be bigger now. So it's having a white width but still it's not looking like I want it to. So I have to go to full width and then you can still use the content inner width. This means that the content will not span across the inner width that you've set up. So that could be 1200 pixels. That's an, a value you can choose completely yourself. Um, so we still allow, we, we still do not allow the content to go bigger than the inner width that I've set up. But if we now go to this on the right side here, you have an option content max width, the same as here, content max width. Uh, this one, inner content width, but here we have a little bit more options. We can now set here again, inherit the max width from the team. So that's something I often uh, do. And then we can say, I want the right section to break it, or I want the left section to break the full width. And this one, you can imagine if I open this one up, I go up, up, up to the row layout. We have inherit max width from the team and we have break the right section full width. This means that the right section, we have two sections here left section right section the right section breaks out of my content max width and goes completely to the edge of the screen and in this one we will do the same now but we're going to break the left section full width so click on update you see here it looks weird let me click on refresh and now you see it sticks nicely to the edge of the screen and we can have the same effect yeah this is looking a bit different let me see what are the uh, the dividing so I have selected this one so let's do the same here select my row layout and uh, make it the opposite way like this click on update click on refresh and now we have the same kind of width on the the, the, the section that breaks the uh, full width and now you can create you can put in whatever you want of course now I've put in a slider so in this section here there is an advanced slider, but I could also just add a image. Uh, just use one from my media library, for example, this laptop, maybe one that's more this orientation. Click on select, click on update. So whatever you put in there, 
as content well now we don't have the slider anymore we only have the picture but you see it still uh, attaches to the left side of the screen and this allows us to create really cool uh, designs and makes it really easy because it's even if you do it with custom code it's a little bit of a puzzle sometimes to to have this kind of layout uh, to create it so it's a really cool small feature that they added in cadence blocks so check it out and um, so don't forget you have to go to row layout you have to set it to full width and then you go to the right side where you can if I go back here to my row layout, we set it to full width and then you can go to content max width and then break the left or the right section uh, to be full width. Okay, so check it out, have fun with it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.